what we do is there is basically three processes like first is the data processing second is the material processing and third is the uh, robotic printing in material processing what we do is see when you have an object or a structure we convert that into the when we get a plan of this we convert that into the 3d model that we got a computer software so and that is been converted into g code g files so then we take a uh, dry run and the dry run if it is okay we go for the wet run so that is a basic procedure we uh, follow in 3d printing So that is why we call it as Amaze 28. So 28 means within 20 days, 28 days we could complete this whole structure and open to the public today by the Honorable uh, Minister for Revenue, Sri K. Rajan. So actually, the printing took only 28 hours, and the balance is like fixing the windows and you know the other works. Then the roof is conventional, so that took around uh, 21 days for uh, curing and all. So the whole thing is completed in 28 days. So that is why we call it. Uh, Amazing technology. It's an amazing technology. So public can, you know, come and you know make use of it. In fact, in this first stage, we are, you know, planning for the awareness. So awareness is being created. A lot of people across Kerala are coming and seeing, watching, and you know they are realizing the technology. Government officials are coming, planning board vice chairman, KIFB CEO, and engineering students, and you know. Technical people from construction field are coming, and you know they are seeing the technology. They are all satisfied. So it's an amazing technology. And basically, it is the speed. It's the speed with which you can complete a project. See, this one, you know, 380 square feet. It is complete in 28 days. So normally in convention it takes minimum three to four uh, times uh, you know compared to this so time is also cost so cost saving is done through time saving so that is a big advantage and another thing is the flexibility in the design any complex design you can do in this that is the beauty of it so you must have seen the construction you know it's perfect so suppose you do it uh, in a conventional way it all depends on the skill masonry or you know that is his skill and that too throughout the building you can you won't get the you know the the uniformity here everywhere you go and see the check the walls it's it's on and the same it's perfect so that is another advantage another advantage is like you know the wastage is almost nil because we do the precise printing and the computerized mixing of the material so end of the day there is no wastage because um, if you look at it uh, the uh, the global wastage the main contributor is construction field so here it is coming to uh, the zero the wastage so it's an environment technology in that way no no we are not demolish it's only a demonstration so we are not going to demolish it this will be convey this is this is going to be used as a conference hall or an office or something like that so that people can come sit and you know see the demonstration the video everything it's like a training center you can convert it so it's open to the public they can come and really see what is happening. yeah we are going to commercialize the whole thing we already got enquiries from the private sector plus government sector kifbi is uh, you know planning to give some work for us so and already discussions are in the final stage and isro is as approach then from private sector also so many people are coming and you know they just wanted to do this we have a separate technical unit for this exclusively for the 3d printing section we have a person engaged for that